is 3.57, so in exactly 31 minutes, uh, so we finish. So I'm going to, I'm doing the hijab right now. May Allah accept. So my alarm started singing and that was how like the video was cut off but I finished my tajit anyway. <laughs> now I have to go and eat because then I have to do fajr. Oh before I go to eat. So I finished two juices like Ama and Abba from Tagabun. <laughs> So I have to take out them because I'm like, oh, I've been so lazy. But I'm trying to do as much as well. You know, is it tiring? I believe it's take out and then I have to read. No. Oh no, sorry, it's so to tiring. Yes, I'm reading so to tiring. But they're on the bright side. I finished more than half of it already, like more than half of the grant already, so that is good. So I finished more than half of the grants because right now I have to start from Tarim, which is the Quran, which is the chapter 66, no, it's Surat 66. Yeah, so I'm going into the third Jusu. So I'm going to Jusu. Uh, what is going on? What is going on? Come on. Yeah, so I'm going to just uh, Mujadila. <laughs> oh my god. And it's almost half Ramadan. <laughs> but the bright side is I shall finish half of the Quran already. So. Gonna go eat. Yes, I am having rice with some butter and some like pepper, just like ground peppers. It is really good. I mean, if I have time, I will fry some some eggs, but I don't. I only have like ten minutes before Suhoor is over, so gotta get this going. So I don't indulge in eating plain rice. Like you will never see me eating plain rice, just white rice by itself. It has to have sauce or something. Even yesterday, I didn't have any sauce to use. I mean, I had this pepper, but then I didn't want to use it. So I fried some egg with butter and had a considerable amount of salt there, and it tastes really good. It tasted really good. So, you'll never see me like eating plain rice by itself. It has to have some kind of salt. I don't know, Nigerian thing? I don't know. I'm too, I'm too familiar or I'm too friendly with jollof rice to eat red rice by itself. It's not done in African home. Or well, at least in my home. I shouldn't generalize. I don't know how people eat their rice but mm. yes my hair is in two ponytails in an hour time now it will be like breaking fast so I need to, <laughs> I need to pray. Yeah, I'm so tired. Such a long day.
You know, right now I'm at Suratu, Suratu Juma. So I'm at Suratu Juma and I'm like, tomorrow is the Good Friday. And I will, I'm, I, I kind of want to read this tomorrow, but then I can also read it today and then read it tomorrow. And hopefully read um, Suratu Al Kaf as well. <laughs> I know it's so, it's so weird how like this, like today's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, the Good Friday, and I'm at Surat Juma. I, I, I think I'm just going to read this. Yeah, I'll read this. Yeah, I'm going to read this now, and maybe tomorrow I'll read it as well again, and then possibly read Surat Al Kaf. You know, I'm getting there, but I'm quite late. <laughs> I uh, like I'm getting there and then I was like because mm. I I don't I'm I, I'll say that I'm kind of like a medium reader like when it comes to Quran like you give me any fiction book and I'll finish it in like a couple of days or week but then when it comes to <laughs> as textual, but when it comes to like reading I mean like we all try we all try I tried my best. We got accepted from me. In about, um, I believe today we are breaking our fast. At 8.27. So in like 30 minutes really I'm breaking my fast. No, no, actually, no. Is that? Oh yeah, in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna break my fast. You know, it's so interesting because you know how you're supposed to fast from the suhoor? It's actually not from sunrise to sundown. It's from suhoor to sundown. And sundown is not migrate because usually sundown like happens like some minutes before migrate, which is when you're supposed to really break your fast. But I guess like because people don't like can't like really say, oh, this is the exact time that the sun goes down so they just kind of like generalize like maghrib as as soon as the adan is calling then people are already eating but i mean like you can check this is what i know and i've read and i've heard like so many times and so often that really sundown is before maghrib i mean that and you're supposed to break your fast before but then like people really because, I mean, I can understand, even when I was back home in Nigeria, like, you, like, at, at 6 o'clock, because I remember, you know, it's so fun. Because you, you do your um, fajr maybe at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Because, you know, I don't know, I don't have phone to, like, check an app. I use Muslim Pro. So, like, in Nigeria, like, you wake up at um, probably, like, 5, and then... You pray Fajr then, like honestly, you just pray Fajr, I mean like, the, but the thing is, like usually there will be like um one or two mosques around, so you can also hear the them calling the Adan, but like, I, I we left, we live in a remote area, that not so many people had moved into that neighborhood, so we don't hear the Adan that often. So, so when you wake up like at five and you just do your fajr prayer, like you don't, like there's no phone to tell you that oh this is the exact time. So and then I know like it goes like you pray fajr then maybe five o'clock, six o'clock, and then you pray zohar at two o'clock when we will be in school anyway. So usually at two o'clock, like it's just <laughs> I don't know how or how it came about because then the, sometimes when i think about like the you know like using the muslim prayer and i'm like hmm so the prayer times actually changes like that but no <laughs> like at least where i'm from like in nigeria like um 
Fajr five six um zero two o'clock Asr um four o'clock uh Maghrib six six thirty around that with those um time and then Maghrib at eight. Like honestly <laughs> that's it <laughs> it's just like that but then like when i use muslim plans like this time usually like shift i mean sometimes it's like two minutes before yesterday or other time more minutes after after the time it was yesterday like for a specific period anyway so <laughs> it's so funny and then like i but then like for when it comes to like ramadan 6 30 people break fast <laughs> but people like on some people are very good at um telling time by shadows like oh you know like if your shadow is really short and it's behind you i think that time it's about maybe four o'clock or maybe two o'clock so like i used to i used to really i used to know this like if your shadow is behind you like a little behind you and uh, it's usually about like maybe some maybe two or four like some people are really good at telling time like that and like yeah so i kind of learned that way so like during ramadan we'll go especially when it's at six o'clock we'll be like our eyes will be bulging out like people are really tired like especially me i if you see me during some ramadan i'll be like ah -ah what happened <laughs> were you starving or were you just starving? like it wouldn't but and then some people come out of ramadan they're looking like this like they will it will look more agile like they gain much weight i'm like <laughs> how does this happen i'll be losing weight in about ramadan but yeah that's the, the, beside the point so six o'clock with eyes are bulging out and everything and the sun is going down and like you can really tell when like the sun goes down and and then you're supposed to break fast anyway but you no know, some of us will just wait like let's wait till maghrib so they are down cold so we can be safe and like you know even if sometimes if you break your fast before the sun down then it means that you you really broke or break your fast and you have to repay that back after Ramadan. So I, I'm guess I guess that people just want to stay on the safe side. So it's just kind of break it during Maghrib, which is not bad. I mean, I do that too. Now I've talked too much. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I wish that I'm in Nigeria. Just like fasting, you know, all those like, it, it, it will be fun to be like in a, like it, like they say in like Muslim countries or in a country that's like, you know, the, the, you won't feel left out. I mean, if I go to mall right now, like people will be shopping, eating, and I'll be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> five more hours. But anyways, it all has its, I mean, I, it all, um, Ramadan has its, like, many benefits, many benefits. And I don't even think it has, like, any disadvantage, unless you are sick and you are trying to fast and, like, don't put that to yourself. I mean, we all know. But yeah, beside, and that aside, I don't know if you guys know about this girl called Mercy Gunner. No? Mercy Gun. She is a YouTuber. She's and she's quite successful with um, her YouTube platform. She's a nurse too, and she do like all kind of hair care, hair care, um, hair care, and all those. I like her. Like um, I've followed her since since I found her out, <laughs> and and in a TikTok video where I made some aloe oil. Yeah, and it was from a video that I learned that and I I mean I still have the aloe with me and I sometimes use that. So it's really and her account got hacked. And uh, when her account got hacked and it's by someone that she someone close to her and I was too, and it was so so sad to see that happen. And you know, I kind of want to like sit down and talk about this. So, so she got hurt, and it's by someone close to her. 
and it was so sad and you know i just started thinking about like how i'm also doing this and like you don't know what might happen i mean like i pray i pray to god that go save me from this kind of people that just want to they are leeches they just want to eat from you and this person i mean like even if it, this was out of jealousy or envy or anything like that this girl has built a platform to like a million subscribers and you know like doing this um content creating thing can be a hard work like even getting like a few thousands is is like credible enough to make it to millions and then someone come and like just disrupt that it was so sad what happened and and I was so touched and so moved by it that I'm like, and then like, and for a second, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm also like putting myself out there. I mean, like there are leeches out there and like, that wants to hurt you, that want to take from you, that want to like abuse you and everything. And like anybody could be, I'm like honestly, like anybody could be a victim. And it's so sad that it happened to her. Like, I feel so, so, so sad about it. And it's so, it's so hurtful to know that it's someone, like, close, someone close like that. And she's a mother. I mean, like, she's going through a lot. I mean, she's going through a lot. And I know a lot of people are going through so much. But, like, it's just sad that she had to go through that. Yeah, it's really sad that she had to go, go through that and like have something that you build taken from you like that. And then I'm like, Aisha, hmm, this thing you are doing, you know, this thing you are doing, like, you know, there's like a self reflective moment right there. And I'm like, ah, I want to stop this right now. <laughs> I don't want to. But then at the same time, like, you know, there is nothing that God can do. And there, I mean, we only ask for Allah to seek, to safeguard us in like everything that we do and save us from like really people that just want to take and take and abuse uh, people. It's so sad because she, she works so, she works. I mean, I'm doing this and I know what she ha what she must have gone through to like build herself and take herself to that level. And like she even, she was, she, I know she was in school to be like a nurse practitioner and she, she paused that to like focus on her YouTube career and build herself more. And now this, it's so sad. I mean, like I pray that she has people with her that are helping her go through this because it's not fun and like I feel so sad like you know thinking that that happened and as a and as a girl like putting yourself in the world but like that it's like dang but then as a girl you should push yourself you should you should put yourself like if you have talent, if you have something that you need to share with the world, why not, right? As long as you're doing it in a in a safe space and like nobody is forcing you and you are like being you're being guarded as well. Like you set limits and boundaries because hmm, internet is crazy. Like I and it so amazed me that how nice and supportive people can be as well you know you see so many people that want to like be this content creator and then you're like oh have you thought have you thought about this have you done this have you done that so like, oh, i've thought a little i've thought a lot about this and i'm like why not move forward why just keep thinking why not act on what you're thinking it's so sad what happened and I, I, I wish her well. I wish her well. <laughs> With me, I'm like, if I have 10,000 followers, I'll be like, ah. And I'm doing like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. That's all I need. But then, you can't stop growth, honestly. You can't stop growth. 
I mean, if you're going to, if God said that this will happen, it will happen. And you will learn from it and you will move on. So, it's so sad because she had built, I can't imagine building yourself to millions and then someone come and just crash that. Like, even this person, I'm like, you could have just learned or asked for guidance from this girl. But no. Really, ladies, be safe out there. Like, my heart, when I saw her, I was like, wow, this is really sad. And my heart goes out to all the ladies that are putting themselves out there in a vulnerable position, like, in the in the world that already thinks that women are vulnerable, like, impressionable, and just use that as a chance to, like, oh, I found my nest prey. My God. Like, all, my heart goes out to all women, of all shade. We all go through a lot of crazy stuff. So, like, my heart goes out to all women, all in all shade out there that are really putting themselves out. Regardless of, like, warnings, regardless of, like, all the red flags and everything. I mean, it's a learning experience, it's a learning curve. And I really wish her well and like she take things easy and slowly for her and like her daughter. Really, my heart goes out to you all. And my heart goes out to men, to the guys. I mean like, of course guys can also fall into this kind of, um, like this kind of, like thing like i guess my talk wouldn't be complete if i say like oh i'm just saying that <laughs> oh i feel for like yeah i really do feel for us like we go through so much and to have someone come like that and like take what you've worked so hard for like what i've probably caused like maybe a tons of conflicts in behind the background that that she doesn't show and then someone to just come like that and like Take that. That's not fair. That's that's not that's not humane at all. It's really sad what happened. So I'm, um, but of course, guys also get hurt too. So, but in in like in the whole spectrum, women always receive this negative backlash, negative attacks, like so uh, too much. Like women receive this backlashes these negativities these attacks way too much more than the men so really my heart goes out to all of the women and everyone every other person that have been a victim of this it's really sad and so guys be safe i know this is this is like a hobby for some people and this is just like for some people to detox or to like find a therapy, something like that. Use it like a, as a therapy in a way. So, guys, be safe. Happy Ramadan. I hope Ramadan is going on well. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I watched this video and it's like, Ramadan is growing on me. Or are you growing on Ramadan? Ramadan is growing on me. Or I, I think it's vice versa. It's usually vice versa. Like, yeah it's a collaborative effort between you and your fasting so but i f i feel kind of refreshed i mean i i posted one video um some times ago about when i went to the gym and i came out and i was looking good it's like i just came out of a um runway i was looking like refreshed and this it's like what i'm feeling now just refreshed and look at my face Ramadan do something to you, like physically, emotionally, mentally, like um, in aesthetically, yeah. It, it just, it's the whole package. So, happy Ramadan and keep fasting. Today is the 14th of, today is the 14th of Ramadan, uh, no, today is the 14th of April, which means 12, we already fasted. 12 Ramadan already so now we have 17 more to go 
Yeah. We have some either 17 or 18 more to go. And yeah, so happy Marodan to you all. Be safe. Be safe. That's what I want to say. Guys, please be safe. And don't give people your passwords. It's really sad what happened to me. Because I'm doing this and I know the kind of work that I put in my mediocre videos. So imagine her. Imagine that much effort. Someone just came like that. So, yeah. Keep fasting. Keep praying. Keep people in your prayers. May God ease their pain. May ease her pain. She must be feeling a lot. And she has lost so much, even through... I know she... I mean, I pray to God that God give her back all that she lost from this and increase her in faith and courage. Yeah, increase her in faith and courage, so... Ah, it's so sad. I mean, like, I really want to stop like this, but yeah. So Ramadan is making me feel good. Aesthetically, physically, mentally, what else? Physiologically. <laughs> yeah, it's the old package. If you fast, you fast and you you really feel it. You really feel it. And I hope and I pray that I can continue this after Ramadan. You know, this is the sit that to shower. <laughs> Sit, <laughs> sit, tattoo shower. That the last Ramadan, I only fast one of the days, but you're supposed to fast the whole sit, tattoo shower to be considered as you fasted, like you know, like as if you fasted the whole year. So, hopefully, I can do it. Like, I'm, um, I want to, like, I'm, I'm praying that God give me the strength to, like. Because the very next day after the, after the, was it after the Eid or something like that? And then I fasted the sit, and then I only did one day out of the sitat shower. You know, um, F, uh, FYI, or like, just, I digress a little. So, see, in my, in my Ileke or Madrasa anyway, when I was back in Nigeria, so, Say, sit, say sister to shower and people will be saying sister to shower sister to shower sister to shower it's so funny because uh, it, i guess it's um it's like a tongue twister sometimes like especially if you're not of arabian descent or you don't speak arabic sister to shower sister to shower <laughs> it's so funny actually it's so funny more than the more than i am saying but Sister to shower, sister, 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 sister to shower, sister, sister to shower. But anyway, salam alaikum and happy Ramadan, Ramadan Barak. <laughs>